Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Hope you're having a fantastic day. This is going to be a Diablo 4 video about my world record run. As you can see right here in game on my speed record character was able to get level 25 and do it from the character selection screen in one hour and 12 minutes from one to 25. I believe at the time of me posting this, it's the fastest with a confirmation full video from start to finish. If there is someone who did it faster, I will definitely amend that in a future video and give them credit and talk about that. But as of me recording this, I believe it is the best that I've seen. And I've touched base with lots of creators and tried to follow the scene as best I can. But what I'm going to do in this video is walk you through the exact method that I was using to get to level 25 in just over an hour and show you how you can also use this once the game is live if you are trying to power level as fast as possible. Possible, so let's get into it. Alrighty, now first of all, I will break this down in text form. If you ever want to be able to pull this up when we get closer to release and all of that, it'll be on our website, aftershockunited.gg, where I will walk you through with images and also the step-by-step -step breakdown of how I did this in over an hour, power leveling from 1 to 25. But really the base description of it is that we are going to be resetting an instance of a stronghold over and over again and clearing it with friends to farm XP as easy as possible at the highest level level uh, area that we can kind of get to here in the act one or at least the iteration of the beta that we're playing. So where that is going to be on the map is you're going to be sliding up here to the north and you can see this stronghold right here, Core Dragon. And what we are going to do is clear those vampire infestations, like, like the elite packs in there. And we're going to kill the high XP mobs in there while we are able to just kind of stand at the entrance as a low level character and have three friends that are power leveling us to get to level 25 as fast as possible. So uh, honestly, I think this method can get can get crept down closer to like sub one hour you could probably really optimize this and get it down to like 55 minutes or something we had uh, i had three friends that were helping power level me to set the record and like one of them had an actual min max build and the other two were just running kind of normal builds that you would have while you were leveling so if i really wanted to min max it and get like three fully like three of the best builds that we have in our clan and power level me up we could have probably done this a few times a few runs and with a little bit more min max builds and got it down to around 55 minutes or so and when we were doing this we did not kill the boss we kill the mobs in there and then i leave the party to kick me out of the stronghold and then I re-invite my friends to the party and I'm right there next to the door because I left the the area and it spawns me kind of right outside of it and then I invite them I go back in and boom we kill the mobs we reset it we back out we go back in and we do this over and over and over again and I was finding that we were getting about maybe double the XP that you would get in farming dungeons over and over farming dungeons is a great way to power level as well it's totally viable and you're going to get a little bit more gear and stuff along on the way so if you want to do dungeons instead that is a perfectly fine method but in terms of like trying to set a world record and only caring about xp this is the method we were going with because it was giving us a little bit more gains we were getting up to like 1.4 million xp per hour whereas in dungeons we were getting like 800 to 900,000 XP per hour. So you can get pretty significantly bigger gains by just doing the dungeon reset farming. And now I've got the footage pulled up so I can kind of show you what it looks like and walk you through the thought process. I will also upload the uncut video of the full one hour and 12 minutes on my channel just for like proof and for people to see the full run in its entirety with no cuts and no editing and anything like that. But in this video, I'm just kind of giving you the highlights and walking you through the method. And what's cool about this one is I started the clock at the character selection screen. There's no like uh, deleting the time where we're walking to town and, and, and setting up and like, okay, now we're going to start running dungeons. Like, nope, I started from the get go at the character selection screen and I'm going to walk you through what I was kind of thinking and because I had to get through that first like 10 minutes as fast as possible to get into a Kiovasha, the main town, and then actually start the grinding by teleporting on one of my friends that was at this stronghold and then going in and resetting it over and over again. So let's go ahead and let's start this and I will show you the first little bit of the run here and I'll, I'll kind of jump and skip and try to give you the highlights and all that. Obviously, I'm skipping the cutscenes as fast as I can 
right here and trying to really min max and, and, and get the levels as fast as possible. So uh, right away, you're just going to head up. This is all self-explanatory. You're going to you're, you're gonna want to take your AOE uh, clear there with the sorcerer, obviously the lightning one, so you can hit multiple targets on your way because you are going to have to play by yourself for the first 10 minutes or so. And I wanted to start on veteran. That way I don't have to worry about swapping the, the difficulty or anything because obviously we want to be on veteran to get the XP bonus when we are power leveling and having our friends clear the stronghold to power level us up so what we're gonna do right here this is all pretty self-explanatory we're gonna just kind of follow the different cues and go on in but i do want to talk about when you have to go into here into the abandoned halls now i think i mean i only tested this during the speed run maybe two or three times just to kind of learn the optimal route but i believe it's always kind of straight to the north so uh, i did take a pretty direct route to the boss you're gonna head up to the right and then head up here and just kind of keep hugging the right side and the north side and head just due north as best you can and i believe it's like that most times in the abandoned halls i haven't run this like a hundred times or anything but i but in the few times i did it was always kind of this same layout where you you head up to the northeast and the boss is up there in the north so when you get to the boss you are just going to kind of burst it down as fast as you can and try to stay behind the boss also don't let it stomp on you and we're just going to kind of go around and try to get behind it when it is swinging and take it down as fast as possible and then we are going to climb up the rope so here we go this is when we take down the boss and then we're going to go up the rope here to the left side. And then again, this is all going to be pretty self-explanatory. You just got to go through and click through to get to Kiovashad. And then at the point that you're going to be able to group up is going to be, you go in and you have to get to the point where you go up to the vendor where you can sell things. And that is going to be, where is that at? Is that right? So right here, we're going in the town. We're talking to them. Okay, right here. So right here at the vendor, you're going to have to purchase the item that they have for sale in their inventory, and then it will drop the amulet on the table right there. You take the amulet, and now when you go down here to talk to this person, you will be able to actually get invited to the run and start the power leveling process. So it should take about 10, 12 minutes or so, and you should be able to party up. Now, during the beta, we were getting a pop-up that you'll see pop up right there uh, to, to pre-order the game. I don't know if you'll still be getting that in the live game. Obviously, probably not, because you'll probably have to own the game already to play it. But then at this point here, at about 10 minutes, I can party up and join them. And what I'm going to do is go up here to the town portal to go to them. And we are going to start the stronghold power leveling process. So here we go. I'm kind of uh, figuring out who's there to teleport on and boom, because we were kind of partying, partying up right there. So there you see about 10 minutes and that's where the process actually begins. So we just kind of want to like be in the instance and we want to kind of just be chilling. And this is where you're going to kind of stand most of the time when the event starts. So uh, this is going to be a normal cycle once we're into the rotation of things and I'll show you how it works. So right now they're going to be clearing and you will see my XP bar filling up down there when my friends start kind of going through and clearing stuff. You'll see the XP just kind of zooming forward. Once they are in there and they are killing stuff, there you go. And I can see it blasting up. We're level eight. And look at that. We're going level eight all the way up to half a level. And it is zooming. Now, this is important. When this pops up, you don't want to do anything. Don't accept. Don't decline. Just leave that there and don't do anything. Just stay sitting here. You'll be fine. And you'll see that we're going to pop up to level nine in no time here. Look at that. Look at that XP bar zooming. And it's not like we're level one. We're level eight right here. And boom, level nine. Okay, so then what they get, what you should be getting, if you're on veteran, you should be getting about 40 to 50,000 XP per run. So if you're kind of wanting to monitor it, that should be the numbers you're, you're, you're looking for. And then when they finish... What I'm going to do, okay, so right here, they're, they're finishing. So then we're all going to leave the party. And when I leave the party, it is going to kick me out of the stronghold. We don't want to complete the stronghold. We don't want to kill the boss or anything like that. We want to be able to farm this over and over and over again. And then you can see in about 10 seconds time, we're able to get right back into the stronghold. So boom, I load in and now I'm going to invite my friends again. We're going to party up and then all I got to do is climb the ladder and sit there. And we're going to do this over and over for about exactly an hour and then I will be level 25. There we go. Okay, got them all invited. Climb up the stairs and then, or not stairs, the ladder. Climb up the ladder and then we're just going to sit here. 
and boom, there we go. So as long as you've got, uh, you know, uh, at least one friend willing to uh, kind of help you and, and work with you and you can take turns power leveling each other, like after they power level me, I could turn around and help power level them. And then we would both be able to power level each other to have a level 25 character within two hours. It'd be one hour a piece. So yeah, I can fast forward here a little bit. We're just zooming through. Uh, so look at that. We were level nine, level nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, level 15 in 30 minutes. And that's including the 10 minutes of walking time. And 16, 17, 18, 19, level 20 at about 45 minutes, 45 to 50 minutes, somewhere in there. And then 21, 22, 23, 24. And then we will show the ding to 25 at right here it's going to be coming up any second now we're one hour and 12 minutes in and boom there it is at one hour 12 minutes and 56 seconds and like i said i will include the full uncut video down below if you would like to be linked to the raw uncut footage so obviously also a massive shout out to Brandon and Strange and Ford who sat down with me and helped me be able to do this method and also all the other people in the Aftershock United crew that are always hanging out with me and helping to theory craft different methods like this. I obviously appreciate all of them. And if you are ever looking for people to play with, if you ever want to stop by and hang out and chat with us, the link is down below. If you would like to have some people to play Diablo 4 with and theory craft things like this, we are always happy to include you in that as well. So that is my world record beta leveling method for power leveling 1 to 25. Remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy daily Diablo 4 content. I appreciate all of you. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.